everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. If you already saw my uploaded videos, you already recognize this gorgeous woman here by my side. This is my twin sister. Hi. Amela. We are doing a makeup look together. Yeah. Or do our makeup. Yeah. Uh, twins together. <laughs> twins together. Yes. I'm doing this makeup look with some of her products that I'm testing out. And I'm testing one of my new palettes from iHeart Makeup. So this is going to be like first impression together. Yeah. Uh, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on watching. So, welcome back. And we are going to do yeah makeup look together. This is interesting because I'm going to try this Tate's makeup palette, or eyeshadow palette that she owns. And I'm so jealous. I'm really jealous at you right now. I just want to take this and don't give it back to you. But I have to give it back. This is so beautiful, look how beautiful this is. Oh, that went the paper down. Oh my god. So nice. I love the smell. I don't actually mind if a palette smells or doesn't have a smell. It's not that that's that it's important, but I really enjoy this kind of... A, it smells a little bit like a vanilla, I think, and mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. It feels really luxurious. and. I like the colors. It has, has some cool tones, warm tones, some neutrals, some purples. So mm -hmm. It has something for everyone. So, I'm jealous. I wish I had this one. Yeah, maybe in future. And you are going to use... Yeah, I I'm going to use one uh, of my new palettes. I actually love uh, Makeup Revolution. This is their I, uh, Heart Makeup palettes that looks like a chocolate bar. I love them. I own a couple of them. And this one is That by Chocolate. It uh, has mostly cool tones, I'll show you. It looks like this. There goes the brush. And it's really pigmented and if you are a fan of silver and uh, kind of brown shades, you will enjoy this palette. I haven't used it at all. This is the first time uh, and uh, I really look forward to it. So we'll start and yeah. see how it goes. I will take this really smelly that I got. Uh, this is moisturizer and primer in one. Mask, moisturizer and primer that I got in glossy box. That I said it smelled like pizza salad and it really smelled. Please smell it. Some of my friends that saw that video called me and said, Oh, you were so funny. That can't smell like pizza salad. But really, smell it. Oh my god. And I can't stand the smell on my face. But I like the primer. So I'm... I'm s yeah, it's, it smells kind of like... Yeah, it does smell like a little bit like a pizza salad, but yeah, but it and it smells is funny, funny smell. Yeah, and it smells on my face too a little bit, but I can't stand it. I'm going to use it because I don't want to throw it away, and it's a good primer. But oh my god, I'm going to use a mattifying primer. It's from a drugstore from Kix. Uh, everyone that lives in Scandinavia knows Kix, and I love their mattifying primer. It's one of my favorites we are going I'm going to put all information about products we use down below yeah. it will be my products and her products too so if you're interested you can check them out it's it's really really nice I smell. oh my god I can feel I, I can smell it it's bad it's really bad it's a good primer but it's not. it just doesn't look like yeah it, it smells like like pizza salad mm-hmm you smell a like cabbage. <laughs> Sour cabbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my favorite foundation from Estee Lauder, Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I really, really enjoy this one. It's really good for combinated skin. The only thing I don't enjoy is that it doesn't have a pump. It's, it's like this and I think you waste a lot of product by putting it on a plate or on your hand. Uh, and I'm so afraid to spill it because it's it is kind of expensive, so... <laughs> I will use the Revlon Color Stay, one of my favorite foundation. This is in uh, Natural Tan 330. And one thing that I found, I know I did a tutorial or review of this makeup store, Naturalized Purple, that really light up a uh, foundation that I bought. And I found, that when I put this in any foundation that I wear, this really makes my skin beautiful and looks flawless. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of it. Um, the only thing with this foundation is you, you want to use a sponge. You don't want to use a brush because it's it's a little bit liquidy. And I think if you use a brush, you waste a lot, a lot of product. 
but you do what you prefer but this is how I prefer it so now when I mix those together I will take my beauty blender and your beautiful palette I'm going to use anti-aging uh, perfect cover concealer by Maybelline I'm, I will use mine too uh, I have uh, just a little bit left but I really really enjoy this one it's a little bit has a yellow undertone but I like it because it, it's a little bit brightening I'm going to set my makeup with this uh, Laura Mercier powder I'm trying this for the first time so we'll see what I think about this and I will set my face with this RCMA powder uh, it looks really really white and it looks white when you uh, pat, it, pat it on on your face but when you wipe it off with your brush it doesn't leave anything, it's translucent so I uh, really really enjoy this one so I am a little bit strange because I use two setting powders I recently bought this NYX no filter powder and I, I am in shade Ivony and I love it, it's really amazing it feels like all your pores disappear when you have it on I love it, you should really try this now while you do that I will actually put some uh, eyeshadow primer and this is the Smashbox 24 hours photo finish I will use your products to contour my face mm -hmm. I want to try them I was kind of curious I don't own all the products she owns and sometimes I uh, borrow yours and try and if I like them I buy them if I don't like them I don't buy them so, yeah. That's what we do. That's very good to have a sister or a twin sister. If you don't have a sister <laughs> at all, it's good to have a best friend that loves makeup and you can borrow from each other. You are my best friend. Yeah, but that's also... And then I also like, because I have veins, just to cover up everything and make the eyeshadow look beautiful and well blended. I'm just now using a little bit of powder and setting my eye concealer because I need to do that. If I don't set my eye concealer, no eyeshadow is going to stay longer than two hours or three max. The only thing I love the colors and it really feels heavy and sturdy. The only thing I don't like is that the names of the shadows come in this little plastic. So that's really something I almost I almost lose every time. Now I will use uh, this classic, this color up here, to set, no, to blend that in my crease. And I will use my Morphe M441 brush, and I will use this shade, do you see, this shade here as my um, transition shade, or how you say it, as a color in my crease. And this palette smells like chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think like more vanilla, but yeah. I will contour my face. And what do you have with you to contour I this have, one? No, that's not the one. I have this Bahama Mama by De Balm and I love this one. It's not an orange uh, bronzer. It's really a nice, good, solid bronzer that fits everyone. I was really interested in buying this, but I, was, I wasn't really sure. So it's good for me to try this and see if I like it. Then I will use one more shade um, on my crease and it will be this shade right here. It's more like a brown shade. Now I will use my Morphe M433 brush uh, to have a little bit darker shade right into my crease. And I think I will use this this grey shade over here like this one it's a good one really really good one then I will do my eyebrows and I hate doing my eyebrows I don't really spend a lot of time doing them because I like them how they are I just like to fill them in and I will use like I always do this Anastasia brow, brow wiz and it's medium brown. I will use the same grade shade as I did in my crease, just in my outer corners of my eyes, just to darken it up a little bit. I think these shades are 
really pigmented. They are not too pigmented where you feel you can't blend them. But they are nicely pigmented. So you can feel you can fill it up as much as you want. Now we'll go in with this color here. With a blending brush and uh, have that as a my transition shade. Now I will take uh, one more color and now in my crease and because I have hooded eyes like I said in my other video I take the crease color just a little bit higher than my crease not all the way to my eyebrow then it looks like a disaster so don't do that and I'll take Indy this color down here and I will use all over my lid uh, this shade right here and on camera it looks it picks up it looks like silver but when you swatch it it looks like silvery but still a little bit purple I don't know if you can see does it pick yeah it's a lovely shade it's really pigmented and creamy I love this belt already <laughs> uh, for that I will use my makeup keep foil eyeshadow brush and this brush is really really great for shimmery eyeshadows then I will take this blending brush but a little bit smaller and I will go, I don't know which color, with this purpley color, no filter. And take that in my crease a little bit, but not all the way up as I did it with my other two shades. I will, for my outer way, I want it just a little bit darker, so I will use an outer way, an outer way brush and use this black eyeshadow here. And I don't know about you, but I don't like my black eyeshadows to be too pigmented because if they are way too pigmented, I, I feel like if you put too much, it's just too much and it's so hard to blend and I think you mess up the whole eye look. I like just right amount pigmented so I can build it up. It's easier to build it up than take it away. Yeah. For my lower lash line, I will use this Anastasia brush and for that I will use those shades I had as my transition shades and then I will take the smaller round brush and take this drama it's kind of a darker purple color and put that outer corner of my eye and try to blend it together and take just a little bit in my crease because I have small eyes, I never go with the dark shade all the way into the into the inner corners of my eyes because I think that closes my eyes too much. So I always um, stop in the middle of the eye and just blend it really, really well. And then I use a matte white shade or a very light shade just in my inner corners of my eyes so my eyes look bigger and more awake and I think this shade right here it's the perfect shade for that but we will see maybe you wonder if we always get along no we don't we have like different opinions about almost everything yeah. and when we discuss we like get in an argument who's right and who's wrong because both of us like to have right yeah, mm. yeah, that's true. That's true. And who has the la last word? <laughs> Actually, we are not always fighting. I, I won't say that it's the wrong thing to say. But there's we are told we even if we are twins, we're total different persons and we like different things. So we do we do when we talk to each other, we don't need to use the whole sentence. Uh, when my husband sometimes listens to us when we are talking, he doesn't always understand what we are saying because sometimes when we are talking mm -hmm. about food, we just switch like that and talk about makeup or someone we saw uh, in town or something. So not many people really understand when we are speaking to each other, but yeah. we get it. <laughs> yes, we do get it. <laughs> we don't even have to I think it's enough for us to look at each other yeah. and we know what the other thinks. Yes. Sometimes she's at home with a little baby. Yeah. They're seven months old. Yeah. And uh, we work at the same school, but we don't see each other that much as we want to. So sometimes we do talk through Snapchat yeah. and they leave some videos to each other. And 
that gets list gets really long. Yeah, exactly. We, we love to do it. And my husband always says, "Who are you talking to? Yeah. Oh, you you were talking to me for two seconds now. What are you doing?" Emma? Snapchatting my sister. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoy talking to my sister like that because when we call each other at, um, at the phone, we, it feels like we, we don't see each other. It's not fun to talk each other through the phone. So if we are not Snapchatting or something like that, because it feels much, much, much better. Have but we, when we was <laughs> younger, we got really strange questions. Like people could forward. come uh, forward to us and say, "Oh my God, you look exactly the same." If I hit you and poke you or poke you, does she feels? Yeah, we always well. get those strange <laughs> questions. I think that's no. Wrong. And if you have headache, does she have headache too? Uh, no, no. And so sometimes we did say yes, just to make them, you know, go <laughs> away, go away. But like when, if you dream or have a nightmare, does she has a nightmare? We are just like, no. <laughs> Why would she? <laughs> but. I think it's a common question that twins have. If you're watching and you have a twin, please let us know if someone asks you th those crazy questions or really strange questions. Then I will take this cheek color uh, under my eye. I think I'm done with the eyes for now. And maybe I will just use... I think this, this shade looks a little bit too... Uh, too pink or too gold for my no it's not for my highlight my... and I will take this no filter too under my eye so now I'm going in with the bronzer this. with my favorite brush for bronzer it's Morphe G5 this is a favorite brush it's pointed like this and when you put the product it blends really, really nicely. It, it's really the best brush I use for for bronzing or contouring. Or I don't own this brush, but I think I need to buy this one too. Yeah, you want? I love your stuff. Can I get them? <laughs> of course. No, you don't think that. You no, just say that. You don't think that. <laughs> I'm loving this look, really. Now let's see. I will take this minx or minx minx. I uh, done this shimmery color all over my eyelid. For my eyebrows, I will use this from NYX with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm enjoying this palette, really. Uh, I think I said it. it like a thousand times now, but I really, really like this one. I saw some other reviews of this palette. Some people really don't like it because they think this, the colors when you blend them in, in your crease it kind of looks muddy. But I don't agree really. I think I think everyone has their own opinion and, and taste. So makeup is just like perfumes or yeah. fragrance. Somebody likes them, and some some other people don't like the same product. Exactly. Doesn't. I'll take just this drama darker color. Uh, again here because I blended it too well and I need that to be a little bit darker. Now I think I will take this classy color under my eyebrows. For my blush I will use Milani Romantic Rose. This blush is a really really nice color. I love it. And for that I will use this brush from e.l.f. It's a face brush, blush face brush I think. Uh, I will also use this highlighter, which I love, love, love. It's a champagne color. It looks like a little bit champagne color. Um, and you can really, really build it up. It's amazing. And for that, I will use this brush by Berlin, uh, Berlin Tools. I think you say it like that. I, don't, I, I really don't know how to pronounce this. But I've seen some YouTubers using these kind of brushes. And I will take the same Romantic Rose blush and try this one because you Wow, look at this. You look like at this highlighter. It's, wow. It's a really nice highlighter. Now, for my lashes, I just, I tried so many waterproof mascaras and I hate them because they smudge under the eyes and I don't feel that they're really waterproof as much as they say. But this mascara from L'Oreal Paris, double extension, where you have a white base, and then you have your black mascara 
I really really love because this is the only one mascara that I can use for my eyes. You can't take it off with any makeup removers. The only way to take this off is just a little bit warm water and it glides off your uh, eyelashes. What I loved about this, it doesn't leave your eyes dark. You know sometimes when you take mm. uh, a mascara off, you black all over your eyes. It's, and this one doesn't do that. So I really, really love this one. I'll take this palette that you bought me, Shannox palette. And I love this palette. And she has nine eyeshadows and nine lipsticks. Here they are, they are kind of messy. I did use them. And I don't know which one I will use. I think I will use the purple one up here. Now, for my lower lash line, I will do this Blink mascara, which is a tube mascara. I, I heard so many reviews about it. I don't use it as my, for my top eyelashes because I don't think this gives, give, gives me any volume whatsoever. Um, but it's really, really great for my lower lash line. And it's also just because it creates a little bit like tubes around your eyelashes and it doesn't smudge and this you take this one off the same way you take this L'Oreal off just a little bit warm water and you're done for my lips I will use this lip gloss from Anastasia and it's one of my favorite lip glosses it's metallic rose and what I liked about them it's they're don't, they are not sticky they smell amazing and they are lo long lasting now I will do my lips and then I'm right, finished. You can't see my lips but I like mixed three colors in here. And that's what I like with those um, lips palettes. You can mix and match your own color. lipstick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the only thing I can see a problem if, if you mix the colors and you think it's amazing. Next time you forget which colors you mix with each other but that's just me. So this is... Uh, Final look, look. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I like it. I really like the products that I tested from you, and I will definitely buy them. Really like them. I'm glad that you took them with you today, and we will put all the information down below so you can check it out. Yeah, um, this yeah, it's fun. This is really fun. I really enjoyed it, and I understand why you really, really like it. And I really, really love your eye look. It's really beautiful. So, but that. you're still on that getting that palette. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah guys please give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more of these wonderful videos I'm coming up with thank you for watching yeah. thank you for watching see you. bye, bye.